general tab of the options. Let's go up to application menu, go to options, and we're in the general tab. Uh, in the notifications, we can save a reminder, the save reminder. So it's going to tell you every 30 minutes, hey, maybe you should save. It's not going to save for you, but it's just going to remind you. So you have choices of doing that. Uh, and you can say no reminders at all. Um, but I personally like 30 or 15 minutes. Um, you know, you should save it about every 15 minutes, but that gets to be kind of annoying if it tells you every 15 minutes. So 30 minutes is, hey, you're already 15 minutes over your normal limit, so it's, it's probably a good reminder to actually save at that point. So either 15 or 30. Synchronize with the central uh, reminder in, interval. So when you're running on a, on a central server and you're work, in a work group, uh, it's going to tell you, hey, you should uh, synchronize with that central server and get the latest and greatest data from that central server that feeds everybody. Username, this is when you work in a work group, uh, a work sharing group. You can have the name that everybody sees uh, for your work. You know, you might want to put your first and last name there, perhaps in a bigger company, uh, so that uh, there's no confusion of Smiths, for example. Journal file cleanup. Now, journals are text files, and they're generated for every command you do. And what happens is, these files are used by technical support when Revit crashes. And remember, if Revit crashes, since it's a project file, everything is hosed. Not just one drawing or one sheet, but everything in the whole building is gone. So these are very vital. And so they track every step that you do and allows them to fix the problem. So this is, they never get rid of these journals. They just keep piling up in a folder in your on your uh, computer. So these two spinners say whenever the number of journals exceed 10, so when we get to like 11 journals, then we're going to delete any journal that's over than 10 days old. But let's say, you know, we have, you know, 11 journals, but nothing's older than 10 days. They're only like five days old. Well, it's not going to delete them then. So it has to satisfy both these conditions before it starts deleting journals. I think these are a little on the light side. I would tend to see these go up to like, you know, 15 and 30 days, because you don't always work on it every single day. So I like to see the journals kept for like 30, 60 days or something like that, and then crank up the number of journals that you need to like 15. Um, if I was really anal uh, and worried about it, I'd even go up higher, 90 days. And, 20 journals or something like that. If I am in a work sharing group working with other people, this is going to save my data out to the server every five seconds. That's pretty frequent. Every five seconds your computer is hauling data back and forth. Um, you can slide this slider bar and change it. I would go somewhere between 30 seconds and say five seconds. Uh, you know, somewhere in that zone. Uh, depending on the speed of your server and, and your data lines within your building, perhaps, um, that's a big consideration. Um, but, you know, 10 seconds is not really that big of a deal for the most part. Uh, if that gives you a little bit more, um, less network traffic, that will be helpful. View options. Uh, the view options are what is the default view for the discipline of, of the program. Uh, so, you know, what is the discipline that you're going to use most? Well, particularly for most of us, it will be architectural is our default view that uh, we want the most. So I'm going to set that to architectural. And we have now just uh, set up all the settings in our general tab in our options. And remember, options can be found in the Revit application menu to get to this dialog box.